does pre Ramazan uh, education matters? Earlier retrospective diabetes and Ramazan studies with non comprehensive pre Ramazan education had shown higher rate of complications among fasting people with diabetes. The first landmark study which highlighted these facts was the EPIDAS study, which was done in the early part of this century, which has shown that 68% of the patient with type 1 diabetes and 62% of those with type 2 diabetes received recommendations from the healthcare providers about fasting and diabetes during Ramadan. About monitoring, 67% of patients with type 1 diabetes, 37% with type 2 diabetes were monitoring blood glucose levels themselves. Dosage uh, adjustments. Oral anti-diabetic agents were continued unchanged in 79% of, of patients and 75% of patients with type 1 and type 2 diabetes, respectively. Insulin dose was continued unchanged in 64% of patients with diabetes, both type 1 and type 2. Complications. Hypoglycemia during requiring hospitalization, high 1 to 9% in type 1 and 2% to 2% in type 2. Hyperglycemic emergencies requiring hospitalization, type 1, 13%, and in type 2, 2 to uh, 4%. Physical activities, sleep, duration, food intake, fluid intake, food intake, sugars uh, intake was unchanged in approximately one half of the study population. So, not all patients were uh, received recommendation from healthcare providers. Not all patients were monitoring and not all in all patients, the drugs were adjusted. And majority of the patients, the dose were not adjusted and hence higher rate of complications were observed. Similarly, the CREED study, uh, another large scale study, which has shown that all physicians reported were providing fasting specific advice to patients, 96.2% using ADA risk uh, recommendations, and 62.6% report using guidelines. But the treatment modifications was not done in more than 60% of the patients. And we now consider that education for pre Ramadan education, medication adjustment is mandatory. So this was there, and a higher rate of hypoglycemia was observed in Creed study as well, and because of the retrospective design of the study. We did a CAP study the early part of the last decade, and it showed various misconceptions among our patients about needle prick, about insulin use during fasting, about dose of insulin, about physical activity and about those uh, diet during Ramadan. So 50%, 60%, almost 90% in patients had misconceptions about uh, fasting related education. And, okay, sorry. And this is uh, not uh, presented by us, but several studies after them, uh, after them they, they have reported unsafe practices among patients from Malaysia, from Turkey, from Saudi Arabia, several studies. So patient's knowledge is, is not appropriate regarding fasting and diabetes. And what about physicians? We have published this uh, previously that physicians have also various uh, misconceptions like uh, patients with diabetes should never fast. 16% of the physicians were saying this. Breaking the fast on development of hypoglycemia, 30% had misconception. Checking blood sugar during fasting, 18% had misconception. This we are talking about physicians. Insulin injection, again, 24% had misconceptions. And about dose adjustment, uh, two-thirds of the physicians, they don't know how to adjust the doses of uh, various medications during Ramadan. 
Then we did a study which we uh, did to compare the care given to people at primary care level and to compare to the tertiary care level to see the awareness of patients, whether they are more uh, aware at primary care level or at a tertiary care level, we found that at primary care level, they have a certain deficiency more than the tertiary care level. So maybe at primary care level, the physicians are not much aware of the structured education which has to be given, or maybe they are too busy in their clinics before Ramzan because these people come before Ramzan very late, maybe one week down the line. So. Uh, they have a lot of rush in the primary care clinics and they may be not covering all the structured education and missing some of the things.